Hi everybody, welcome to Life in France versus the UK. Um, I'd already made this video but I thought I'd better make a new introduction because I did get quite passionate, which you're about to see. Um, it's something that really sort of affects me in the heart. Um, I love the French, I love being in France and I love my new life in France. But I'm also very proud to be English. But what you're about to see <laughs> is my passion coming out for my native country, England, Great Britain. And um, please bear with me. <laughs> it does get better and uh, I hope you enjoy it. And this is going to be my last rant of the year, I promise, because it's New Year's Eve. Hello everybody, welcome to Life in France versus the UK. It's New Year's Eve and what a year this has been. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely worst year I can ever remember. Covid, lockdown after lockdown, all over the world. Um, what's happened with China's figures? They don't seem to have had a, a second wave. Strange that the country with the largest population in the world, where Covid started, so it was all unknown, has actually had one of the lowest rates of Covid infections, the lowest death rate than most countries around the world. Are those figures correct? Why isn't the World Health Organization going into China, doing an investigation and finding out exactly what happened? What are we not being told? That's what I'd like to know. And if they are hiding it, do they not have a responsibility to perhaps pay the rest of the world some sort of compensation? It's cost trillions of pounds or dollars, whatever you want, want to use, to the world economy. Why isn't anyone doing anything or saying anything? The other thing I'd like to know, <clears throat> I've looked all around the news, never heard it. Is there any relation to smoking and the death rates with COVID? They say obesity is one of the things. What about smoking? Because it affects the lungs, doesn't it? So surely those people with damaged lungs through smoking are more susceptible to death. But why has no one said anything? That's what I'd like to know. Why are they hiding it? And also, isn't it strange, guys, that it takes five to ten years to come out with a vaccine, and all of a sudden, three separate companies have come out with a vaccine within one week of each other? Oops! Fred's just made a vaccine. We better say we've made one as well, guys. I don't think I'll be up first to uh, take that vaccine. Let everyone else do it. Then I'll be safe anyway. Also, Brexit. We've got a trade deal. S Boris announced it's worth £668 billion. Pounds. UK trade deal. The thing he didn't say, that's based on 2019 figures. That's the total trade between Europe and the UK. £294 billion was what the UK exported to Europe. The remainder, 300 and, let me get the figure, 374 billion we imported from Europe. So that 668 is weighted more in the favour of Europe than it is the UK. Yet it's a great trade deal. Guys, I just want to say one thing to all those Brits that are watching this video. Wake up! For goodness sake, what is going on in the UK? Great Britain, where's the great now? I love the fact I'm English, I'm proud that I'm English. But I'm not as proud as being English as the French are of being French. You go to any French village and you'll see the French flag flying, flying proudly. Every French village. The French shout from their rooftops, Vive la France! They're so proud of being French. But in England, you look, how many flags do you see flying proudly in the UK? It's almost as though we're embarrassed in the UK to be Great Britain, let alone English, with what's going on in the UK at the moment. Bloody hell, with, with um, Fan Dabby Dozy up in uh, Scotland, God, who on earth voted for her? They're tearing the UK apart. 
you know, Boris comes out with, right, we're going to do three tiers for COVID. All of a sudden, Fan Dabby Dozy up in Scotland says, oh, we're going to have four tiers. And the Welsh, the tortoise, he comes out. Oh, what can I say? His name's Mark as well. Oh, my Lord. Anyway, the tortoise appears. And he says, we're going to have a lockdown as well. The thing is, Wales and Scotland are having these lockdowns. Who's paying for it? Are they paying it fully out of their own budgets? Or is it the English that are helping pay for their lockdowns? Well, what can I say? Wake up, England. Let's get the flags flying. Too many snowflakes in England. Politically correct. What's going on? Do you know, guys, this was on Amazon France just before Christmas. Support your French businesses. Don't see it on Amazon UK. Support your French businesses. Buy French products. I um, received a magazine um, from uh, Super U and it was their toy magazine for Christmas. This came out, um, I think it was the last week in November. And it was um, a 60 page sort of book of all the toys. And right at the front of the book was, these are the toys that are made in France. Support your French companies. And throughout that booklet, they highlighted which toy was made in France. Come on, England, buy British. Is it a coincidence that the lorry drivers were stopped going into France just before the Brexit deal happened, the trade deal? Surely that was Europe just flexing their muscles. Just to show what a palaver they could cause the UK just by closing the border. We had, admittedly, 36,000 new cases of COVID when they put in that border control. A few weeks earlier, though, France were getting 35,000 a day. And they actually went up to 45,000 one day. Did we close our borders? No. But the Brexit deal wasn't going through. The trade deal wasn't being passed. All of a sudden, flex your muscles, close the borders. This is what we can do to you. All of a sudden, the trade deal's done. If we, as a nation, start buying British products, we're not going to be relying on Europe so much. And we'd be supporting our own companies. Why do we send millions of pounds in aid to India when India have their own space project? Why are we sending money to China? Let's demand that that money's invested into the British infrastructure, creating new jobs, new factories, creating new products that the British get behind and buy. We need to buy British produced goods. You go to a supermarket in France, this English section at the local Carrefour or Intermarché is a one metre square section of shelving filled with about 10 or 12 different products. They don't sell British products in French supermarkets. You go to their wine section. They don't sell African, Australian, British wines, American wines. They don't get sold. It's all French wines. Britain, wake up. Buy British. Support your country. The reason I left the UK was because I just felt as though nobody was proud to be English anymore. I came to France because I love the French. I love how the French are proud to be French. If they don't like something, they protest. The fishermen, they will protest. The lorry drivers, they will protest. The students, they protest. If they don't like something, they protest and they get things changed. The British, oh, it'll be alright tomorrow. Let's have a cup of tea. It ain't going to be alright tomorrow because we're letting people walk all over us. Come on, Britain, wake up. Get proud to be great again. Buy British products and then we won't be reliant upon Europe so much. If we're going to do anything this year, or for next year rather, buy British. We can change our economy over. We can produce millions of jobs if we start buying British. We could change our economy around. 
we can save our country by British. Every other European country are doing it. In France, in Germany, in Italy, they buy their own products. They get behind their own country. Why is it we don't do it in the UK? Come on, I'm pleading with you. Buy British. And we can change the UK and make it great again. And let's forget all this political correctness, for goodness sake. Do you know, it's going to be also, very soon, you'll be a, feel so guilty to actually say you're English. But what, what's the, ah, oh, it's just so frustrating. Thanks. Guys, sorry for the rant. Um, as you can see, it's something that I'm quite passionate about. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit that red button so you don't miss any future videos. Um, I'd like to finish on a positive note. Um, I wish everybody all the best for 2021. I hope that everyone has a fantastic year. We all need it. And let's stay strong, stay healthy, and have a great year next year. Take care, everybody. See you again soon.